alluded to this song over and over and over again and it has raised a few questions in my head and I've gotten a few messages also just about this song and so many other things relating to the issues that we're going to be talking about some of the issues that we're going to be talking about today this is the Afrobeat called I am a and if you want some major kick-ass content today right now on this show on the Afrobeat cult you're right on the button welcome so I had to take it back to the very beginning so this is the issue some people have been making comments about this particular song, this particular collaboration between Davido and Chris Brown. It's a brand new one. But the point is this, yeah? I personally, on this channel, I think we like the song. It's really smooth. It's typically Davido. It has a good melody. It has a really, really warm bounce to it. That. But as far as this track is concerned, I think I, 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 I like it. I like it. And I, I think it's a good one. And I want to give kudos to David O and Chris Brown for putting it together. And in case you're wondering what's going on. <laughs> So basically what it is, is that we are starting to prepare for the 10th anniversary party which includes compiling loads and loads of music old school and new school and so many in between And as that's exactly what all the DJs are doing right now We only have a few days left before the main show So this has to be done too On to the next one So what is it that we're looking at? We're looking at um, why EU artists This one was a message sent to me also Asking why is it that EU artists Are not doing as well as their local artists from Africa well, to, the answer to that is, I really don't know. So perhaps one way to look at it is also that uh, the EU-based artists, the African artists based in the, in the European Union, you should remarket, rebrand, rethink, and see if it would work differently. And of course, oftentimes when things aren't working out, the first person you want to blame is the one that's closest to you. The blame game doesn't really work because sometimes it's not about the DJs not playing your music or the DJs not giving you fair, fair shake with the other artists from Africa. It's not just that. Sometimes when the club is banging, the DJ has to decide, okay, what is the best track for me to drop in right now? That would work for me because he's doing his job too, just like the EU artists are doing theirs. So we should all come together and think about it and refocus re-strategize and package accordingly. So yeah, the prep goes on. Still on the matter. I heard this track just by accident. It's not a new one. And then I listened more and I was, I was pleasantly surprised. This is none other than the hot South African rapper, aka. And I reckon Kido Minat from Nigeria, the producer, record producer from Nigeria, did this one. And this one is called Te La Inversace. I haven't heard anything from him in a long time. But this one is really awesome. I will leave the link on the comment section so you can go check that one out yourself too. This is the Afrobeat Cult.
Welcome back. This is the Afrobeat Cult, and remember to subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Keep us growing, and if you have already subscribed, big thank you to you for doing just that. And like we said, the next one on the list, the next one that we're talking about is Burner Boy. Burner Boy is definitely making headlines right now, just as we had predicted some months ago, just I think a couple of uh, months into the into 2019. It's in one of our videos, one of the shows that I will leave the link there so that you can check it out yourself and tell us if we're spot on or we missed the mark completely. But in my opinion, we predicted that Burner Boy was going to make headlines that was, was going to be very, very big in 2019 and he proved us right. Of course, we do give a big, 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 big salute to Burner Boy for all for making the whole of Africa proud, yes. You, you like this one? He released his album quite recently, the whole album, and I can say to you that I loved every, every track on that album. You should go listen to it too. It's really, really good. It's streaming like crazy on major platforms all over the world, so go listen to that one. And as I said earlier, this is the time where we start compiling and getting ourselves up to par, getting ourselves 110% ready for the show that's coming on the 10th of August right here in Helsinki, Finland. This is the Afrobeat Calls. Remember to subscribe, support, and share. And from us, bye-bye. See you next time. Mm -hmm.